Hey up everybody, I want it next part of me uh, steam driven water pump that I'm doing. Just before I continue with this next part, I've had another YouTuber reach out to me and we've swapped stickers and it's Matt over at Tea and Biscuits. Um, so I've not I've not seen Matt's channel before and that's usually how you get to find other channels isn't it when you make contact with each other and swap stickers etc. Because uh, there's that many channels to look at you never find everybody do you? Anyway. I've only just uh, started to look at Matt's videos, uh, I've only this last couple of days managed to see a couple, uh, so I'll be continuing catching up on you Matt, uh, and anybody that's interested in similar things to what we all do in the workshop, go over and take a look at Matt at Tea and Biscuits. So I'll get you up on board then Matt, then I'll continue with my job. Continuing from the last part then, I'm going to make uh, these items here, so if you remember last time I'm making them on the alternate drawing, which is a different method of doing the actual um, pump body, to be a more efficient way of pumping apparently according to this. So I've got item 35, which are two restrictors to do, then there's item 36 which will be on the, so item 35 will be on the alternate drawing method here. Item 36 is another two restrictors sticking to the original main drawing which are compatible to both. And then item 37 again on the alternate drawing for the valve seat. And then there's these uh, butterfly valves to make and then once I've got them sorted out I can move on and machine the actual pump body up to the one replica one I made in wood.
Come on then, let's have a bit of an update here. So what is what is all the parts then? Let's quickly run through them. <clears throat> I've got the glands finish, which is item 32, and they screw onto the top cover of the pump and the bottom cover of the steam cylinder with an o-ring in with ten, two 10 ba screws like that then uh, item 36 on the main drawing which is here I've got two restrictors 5BA and they're going to fit into this part of the pump casting one on each side and they come through into the actual cavity where the water's pumped and it's to restrict the butterfly valve from uh, moving around too much once it's dropped into the bore then just off camera I made I made these struts which is item 33 here so there's two of them and they're going to hold the whole job lot together once that covers onto the pump uh, that strut's going to fit into there like that with two 5BA nuts on one on each side of the pump then over here uh, I've got on the, I'm on to the alternate drawing now another two restrictors and these go in the top of the pump casting to restrict the butterfly valves from jumping up and down So that's item 35 here. Then I'll move over to item 34 here, the unions. So I've got two of these to this drawing for the pump. Then I did a, a hybrid one consisting of two from one side of the union of the main drawing and the other side with the pipe fits off of the alternate drawing so I can keep all the pipe work the same so there's four of them, item 34, them unions then over here the valve seats, the item 37, that's these two so these are going to fit into the bottom of the pump housing that's two of those and then last but not least the butterfly valves <laughs> so there'll be two of these into the bottom that fit into the valve seat and again this restrictor here stops them from jumping around And then the other two butterfly valves actually see on the casting counterbore and these restrictors then go on the top to restrict its movement. So they'll be sat in the pump body 
somewhere like that I suppose two of those so basically then I think that's just about all the items completed all the uh, parts that fit on so now I can move on to the rat's nest of holes in the actual casting I say rat's nest because there's there's 30 plus holes in this uh, mock-up uh, pump body that I made out of some oak um, you know you've got passageways for water at angles restrictor holes counter bores threaded holes piston bore fixing screws for the covers etc etc union holes threaded and counter bore etc yeah 30 plus holes so it's a rat's nest in my view um, so I'll move on to that next I think um, and then you know we're getting to the point where most of the things are made I've got the gaskets to make I've got all the seals here to fit when the time comes um, and then once I've got all the gaskets made I've just got to uh, probably make some nuts for the covers etc anyway I think I'll continue with that next time so uh, if you found that useful interesting etc etc give me a thumbs up and a subscribe I'd appreciate that and I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.